guys see dry shampoo in my hair? No, you don't. Good morning. As you can probably tell, today is a bit of a different video. Different style of video, I should say. That is because I'm doing a collaboration with my good friend Laurel. We are doing a how we get into the fall spirit today because we're both very summer girlies that don't really like when the summer ends. So we kind of want to share with you guys today how we get into the spirit of fall and what we do and what we use and stuff like that. I don't know how vlog girls do it. I have been holding up this camera for like two seconds and my arm is already tired. I feel like you can see every bit of texture that's on my face in this lighting, but I'm just gonna keep you here for the time being because we are gonna move in a second. Today is gonna be a bit of a vlog style video just because I feel like that's the best that was my thought process for this video, is a very like low-key actually showing you what I do in my life to get ready for fall, even though fall is like already here. And I'm trying so hard not to like jump into Christmas now that Halloween is over, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some fall things. So let's get into it. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do today to kind of get me in like the fall feels is light a candle. I know that is super basic bitch of me, but this is like the one thing that I do, like if I wanna feel good just in general, like if I'm having a bad day and I wanna just give myself like a good day, like a spa day or like, I don't even know what, if I just wanna have a nice chill vibe in my room, this is what I do is I light a candle and I feel like Fall candles are the best. They are kind of elite. Christmas candles are good too, but the fall ones are just so, so, so good because I love that warm and cozy, like vanilla cinnamon scent. The one I'm gonna light is this cinnamon Irish cream one by Bath and Body Works. This is my favorite. I have like four of these. Doesn't this lighter look like a taser? I feel like just like the sight of a candle too is very fall-esque. This warm glow right here. Oh, this is giving me it's giving me everything I need to get over the death of summer. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast, which is also the perfect time to show you my next little fall spice that I throw into my life during this time of year, which is coffee. I wanna show you guys how I make my coffee. It's super basic and literally anyone can do it, but it's fall. It's very fall-esque, my coffee. There's no frother, there's nothing fancy about it. It's literally just an iced coffee with a splash of fall. So let me show you guys. This creamer is so good by Trader Joe's. The oat brown sugar one that I use in this coffee. It's so, so good. I've never had a creamer taste like that before. They have all the pumpkin spice ones that are out this time of year that I bet you thought I was gonna use, but the Trader Joe's one definitely tops and like trumps all of those other ones. It's just like not super sweet in your face. So fall is like a very interesting time of year because I feel like it's everyone's favorite season. It's not my favorite season. <laughs> And I know that's terrible to say on a video that's titled like how I get into the fall spirit, but it's just, it's a time of year that makes me sad because everything's dying, number one. <laughs> like all the green trees are dying, which it, it is pretty for like a few weeks, but it's it's sad to, to watch. And it starts to get cold, which I don't really mind in like the first few weeks, but then it starts to get like really cold and I hate going outside. It also starts to get really dark, really early. All of these things kind of, I don't look forward to them. I know a lot of people look forward to fall because it's like great fashion, great makeup, great coffee, a whole bunch of great stuff. Like shows come out and everything, but I have a hard time transitioning. So that's kind of what I want to focus on in this video. Kind of like immerse yourself into the best parts of that time and take the good out of it and kind of put the bad to the side. Don't get me wrong, I do love fall. I love sitting outside by the fire and I love a nice crisp fall night, but I'm a person that can live in like warm weather year-round. I won't, but I could. Okay, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'll come back and show you some more fall fun things that I have in store for you guys. Maybe we'll do some makeup too. Why not? But let me eat and I'll be right back. So before we get into the beauty side of this video, I wanted to like take the chance right now to kind of show you guys a little bit more of who I am and give you some book recommendations for fall. Fall to me is a great time to read. Summer is, of course, because you can like read on the beach and everything, but fall is like way more 
put a playlist on when it's cold and rainy and have a candle lit and sit down and really envelope yourself in a book. It's like one of my favorite things to do this time of year and I have two recommendations of books that I already read and two that I'm going to read this year. I know this is a beauty channel and you're probably like why am I getting book recommendations but if I like to read and I like makeup there are definitely other people that like to read and do makeup so this is for you guys. First one is The Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Colgan. This is just a very cute bookshop. It's an independent like bookshop so it feels all the more fall. It's just, it's really cute. It's about Scotland. Scotland is all like rainy and cold, which is what fall is to me. So very good for this time of year and it makes you feel some type of way. Trust me. Like they describe the place that she goes, the village in Scotland, as a sleepy village many miles away. Yes, yes. This is like a cute rom-com, which I feel like is really good for this time of year. But it's not like a summer rom-com where it's like frivolous and like la la la, whatever. This one's like it's really good. The next one is probably my favorite book that I've ever read besides like Six of Crows. This is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This book, I don't have the words to describe this book. This is like a dark academia book, which is what I go for at this time of year. I really want like a spooky, high fantasy, or dark academia because that's what fall is to me. It's like school time, but like somebody was murdered. <laughs> You know, like that's what I'm into and this I don't want to give too much away But that's like what this is. It's like dark academia with like science fiction slash fantasy It's so good and you'll go through it like that. The other two that I have are ones that I'm planning on reading again This is a dark academia the ninth house. This is by Lee Bardugo who wrote one of my favorite books and again, it's just about like an Ivy League school. There's a murder. It's just very, it's exactly what I want to get into the spirit of the season. And then of course I have to throw a Stephen King novel in here. Stephen King, it's like October, you know? I know and I know that we're past October, but he's so like Halloween. This is like his brand new book, Fairy Tale. I feel like it's just the perfect time of year for his book. This one is a bit more of a fantasy read. These are the books that I save for this time of year because I feel like I can really envelope myself in them and like, my seasons outside match with the energy that's in this book and everything just kind of it comes together at this time of year when I read these books. So that is just one other thing I do to get into the fall spirit is read books. So I want to talk to you guys about fall skincare. There are a few products that I will carry over from my summer routine into the fall but there are a few that I swap out during the fall just because it's a lot colder and my skin tends to get a bit drier even though I am quite oily. So I want to go over my fall skincare morning routine with you guys. I did already like just apply it so I'm not gonna do it with you but I want to show you what I did use. First thing that I always take if it's fall, winter, summer, no matter what is this Dear Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. I like to use a toner because I feel like it adds some more hydration to my face. Then I'll go in with this, I don't even know what the brand is, Galactomyces. I'm not even gonna try to say this. This is a tone balancing essence by Cos Rx. That's what it's called. If you guys can read that. I don't know what the heck it says. This is just an essence. I go with this after the toner. This really just helps my skin to absorb everything else that I'm going to put on top of it. Next thing I'll use is this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I use this no matter what the weather outside, but I do find that I go in with a bit more on the outer edges during the fall months because right here, like right here is where I get the most dry. The only eye cream that I'll ever use. Now, what I'll use in the fall that I won't use in the summer, I'll go in with a vitamin C during the summer months. But for now, for the fall season, I like to take this low recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Deep Hydration and Glow Serum. I've never tried another hyaluronic acid, so I don't know if this is better or worse than some other ones. This is the only one that I've tried and it works like a gem. Makes my skin feel baby soft. And then the moisturizer I'll take is my Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil Free Gel Cream. I use this all the time, again, nothing new. I do wanna give you a drugstore option though. This is the Cetaphil Daily Oil Free Hydrating Lotion with Hyaluronic Acid. If you don't wanna go in with like these two things because they're expensive, this will do the job just the same and it's a fraction of the price. It's good for oily skin. I think if you have dry skin, there's a more targeted one by Cetaphil, but this one is for my oily girls and guys. It's oil free, so it's not gonna feel like heavy on your face. It just really sinks straight into the skin and it's got that hyaluronic acid, so it's gonna nip all that dryness in the bud. All right, now I think I wanna get ready for the day and do my makeup of the day. So let's do a little bit of glam, fall glam, of course. I'm not gonna go too in depth with this tutorial makeup 
section of the video just because I have so many other tutorials on my page that you guys can check out if you want to. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it, but I'm not going to go into like the depth that I normally do. So I do have a video that I'll have linked that talks about all of my like favorite fall makeup that I'm currently loving. I do want to mention this palette. This is a great fall palette. It's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I mean, you can't lose with this palette. It's so good. It's very warm, very brown, brick, orangey, which are great colors for the fall. I have not met a person who's been like, I don't like that palette. So I feel like this is a really good option for everyone. I'm gonna do eyes first like I normally do. And I'm gonna prime with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm gonna take Raw Sienna right here. This is a Pro Fusion ES3 Pointed Crease Shadow Brush. I moved you guys up and over a little bit so that hopefully you can see better what I'm doing. If I dig my nail into one of these shadows one more time, I'm going to flip out. I'm going to take red ochre right here, which is a nice burnt rust brown red shade. I'm going to take tempera, which is just a very matte cream shade. And I'm going to just put that in the inner corner. Alright, I moved you guys. Just because the light is changing <laughs> so i want to move you so that you can get the best light and i want to use natural light in this i'm going to take a bit of this cypress umber right here which is just a nice chocolatey brown and just out here i'm gonna put it i'm gonna use some of this ilia mascara it's what i've been liking recently and i don't think i'm gonna do any falsies today just because I'm not feeling it. Foundation I like to use during this time of year since my skin is a bit dry is one that's not too matte but still has a matte feel to it. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. This is fantastic, fantastic foundation. It's matte, but it doesn't make your skin feel dry. It's not even matte, it's like a skin, it looks like your skin. I'd love to talk to you guys about fall fashion, but the truth is I don't have any fashion. <laughs> I don't have a fashion sense at all. I wear oversized sweatshirts and flannels and sweatpants every single day because I am someone who believes in comfort over anything else and that is what I feel comfortable in. So I wish I could like tell you guys about what I would wear but you're looking at it babe and it's not that flashy. <laughs> the concealer I'm going to use is this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I see Jazz on YouTube, Juicy Jazz, talk about this concealer all the time, so I wanted to try her out. I think the shade's like way too light. Yeah, for sure it is. But they literally had none left at Ulta. So we're just going to kind of go with it. It's very light, like light on the skin, which is nice. I'm going to go in and set everything. I think I'm going to use my favorite powder, one size setting powder, some of this Rimmel bronzer in the shade 22 Sun Bronze. It's just called Natural Bronzer. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just to add some dimension back into my face. Blush is going to be this primer infused elf blush in the shade Always Rosy. I'm just going to take it on like a angled brush. I find that these are the best for applying blush. These are the kinds of blushes that I go for in this time of year because they're a bit more deeper. Like those wine shades are really gonna help you feel like you're in the fall season. <sighs> I don't know what I wanna do for brows. I don't know if I wanna actually do them or just run some brow freeze through them. I hate doing my brows. <laughs> it's like the one thing I hate. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, what even is this? Brow microfilling pen by Benefit and just hit the front of my brows just so that they look kind of like done. Now we're gonna do a nude lip, but I don't know which nude lip we're gonna do. I'm going to line first with this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF2. Then I'm gonna take Fenty Unbutton, which is my favorite liquid lipstick like ever and my favorite shade. I'm gonna blend this into the lip liner. I'm gonna bring back my little birthmark right here. I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. I feel like this is what I used to wear in college. <laughs> so you guys, that is my little vlog style, how I get into the fall spirit video. Once again, this was a collaboration with my girl Laurel, so make sure to check out her video. I'll leave a link for that down below. We're just two girlies that love summer and don't want to give summer up that really need some inspiration when getting into the fall spirit. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite fall item is that helps you get into the autumnal spirit. I would love to know what it is and to check it out. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos that are a bit more personal. You know, maybe we could switch it up a little bit and do some of these. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Make
make sure if you have not already that you are subscribed to my channel and that you hit the little bell so that you are always notified when I upload a new video. And I think that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed because I know that I did and I will see you all in my next one.